It was only a matter of time before quantum batteries became real. And now, that moment has arrived. In a quiet industrial park outside Vancouver, Canada, a small team of physicists has built something that could end the fossil fuel era. A battery that charges almost instantly, never degrades, and stores energy using the laws of quantum mechanics. The story you want to hear is not just science. It's about power, politics, and the technology that could reshape the entire global economy. This is the story of how the quantum battery became the most feared invention of the 21st century. The Impossible Battery For decades, the quantum battery existed only as a dream in physics papers. It was said to use quantum entanglement, a strange phenomenon where particles share energy states and can exchange power almost instantly. Traditional batteries rely on chemical reactions that wear out over time. But a quantum battery doesn't use chemistry at all. It stores and releases energy through the behavior of quantum particles, making it almost lossless, infinitely rechargeable, and incredibly fast. In theory, this meant you could charge an electric car in seconds or run a power grid without ever worrying about battery degradation. It sounded impossible until a small Canadian startup called Aeon Energy turned theory into reality. Researchers from the University of British Columbia founded Aeon. They had no billion dollar investors, no corporate labs, and no political backing. Just an idea and a few borrowed instruments. Yet in early 2025, they achieved what the world's largest tech giants couldn't. A working prototype of a true quantum battery. Their first demonstration shocked the scientific community. The prototype could charge a small vehicle in under a minute, run it for hundreds of kilometers, and repeat that process thousands of times without losing efficiency. This wasn't a marginal improvement, it was an energy revolution. The discovery spread quietly at first, through whispers among physicists and small online forums. But within months, its significance became clear. The age of chemical batteries, and perhaps even oil itself, was coming to an end. How it works. To understand why the quantum battery is so powerful, you have to step into the world of quantum physics, a world that doesn't obey the same rules as ours. Aeon's design is built around quantum superabsorption. Instead of storing electrons like lithium ion batteries, it manipulates energy at the quantum level, where many particles can share the same energy state simultaneously. This allows the entire system to absorb or release energy instantly. There's no gradual charge, no waiting, no overheating. Another breakthrough is how it avoids chemical degradation. Because there's no chemical process, there's nothing to wear out. A quantum battery could theoretically last for decades, recharging millions of times. It's also almost perfectly efficient. Nearly every joule of energy that goes in can be recovered, something no battery in human history has achieved. Now imagine scaling that up. Phones that charge in seconds, cars that refuel in the time it takes to blink, city grids powered by solar energy that never run out at night. The implications go beyond convenience. They challenge the very structure of our global energy system. For centuries, we've relied on extracting and burning fuel. The quantum battery offers something entirely new. Energy independence, limited only by imagination and access to renewable sources. The shockwave. When word of Aeon Energy's prototype leaked, the response was explosive, but not everyone was celebrating. Through whistleblowers and leaked corporate emails, journalists uncovered a wave of panic across the fossil fuel industry. One internal memo from a US oil conglomerate read, If this tech scales, we're not looking at gradual disruption. We're looking at a terminal event for oil. Another from an OPEC policy advisor stated bluntly, The end of our leverage is in sight. Within weeks, oil stocks dipped sharply, while green energy shares skyrocketed by nearly 20%. Institutional investors began shifting portfolios quietly toward emerging clean tech sectors. They weren't waiting for press conferences. They already knew. Governments soon caught on. Canada's Federal Innovation Minister called it the most consequential clean energy discovery in our nation's history and vowed to protect AON from foreign acquisition. The US Department of Energy requested partnership talks. 
Meanwhile, the European Union launched new funding programs for quantum battery research across member states. In less than six months, Aeon Energy went from an obscure startup to the most sought-after company in the world. But fame came with danger. Intelligence reports hinted at hacking attempts from foreign entities. Drones were spotted near Aeon's test sites. Private equity firms linked to oil interests allegedly tried to buy controlling shares. Despite the growing tension, Aeon's CEO, Dr. Leela Curry, stayed focused. In her first public statement, she said, We understand the magnitude of what we've built. Our goal is simple. Make sure this technology benefits humanity, not just shareholders. Transparency, ethics, and sustainability must define its path. Her message was clear, but it also painted a target on Aeon's back. The economic earthquake. Every major energy revolution reshapes society. Coal powered the industrial age. Oil fueled the modern world. Now, the quantum battery could redefine the next century. But revolutions are messy. Millions of people rely on the fossil fuel industry. Oil rig workers, pipeline engineers, refinery staff, and truck drivers. If this technology replaces oil, what happens to them? Regions like Alberta, Texas, and Saudi Arabia could face economic collapse if oil demand crashes. Entire communities built around drilling might vanish in a generation. Unions are already calling for transition programs and retraining. Germany and Denmark have moved quickly to shift workers into renewable sectors. Others, however, remain frozen in denial. The shift won't be easy, but history shows that progress never is. Automation, the internet, and AI all disrupted jobs before creating new ones. The same could happen here. In the long run, the quantum battery could create a new energy economy, one centered on clean infrastructure, decentralized power, and local manufacturing. But the short-term impact will be immense. The question isn't if the world will change, it's how fast. Hope and resistance. Despite mounting resistance, the public's excitement has become unstoppable. A viral video showing Aeon's prototype charging an electric car in 57 seconds has been viewed over 50 million times. Social media is filled with discussions about the end of fossil fuels. A global petition urging governments to accelerate clean infrastructure adoption passed 1 million signatures within days. Environmental groups now call the technology the missing piece in achieving the Paris climate goals. If widely adopted, quantum batteries could make keeping global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius not just possible, but realistic, turning a near-impossible climate target into an achievable one. But not everyone is convinced. Critics warn that early-stage technologies often face hurdles, from rare material shortages to scaling issues. Some worry about the sustainability of components used in superconducting systems. Others fear that corporate control could simply replace one monopoly with another. Yet independent scientists who've reviewed Aeon's data remain optimistic. Dr. Matteo Reiki from the University of Geneva summed it up best. This isn't science fiction. It's a scientific fact. We are witnessing the dawn of a new energy paradigm. For now, the world watches. Investors bet the government's plan. And somewhere in Vancouver, a small team of scientists continues refining the device that might change civilization forever. The turning point. The next two years will decide everything. If Aeon Energy can scale its prototype into commercial production, the balance of global power will shift permanently. Oil-rich nations are already rethinking their futures. Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 plan, which aimed to diversify the economy, now faces an accelerated timeline. Russia has reportedly increased cyber surveillance on clean tech firms in Europe and North America, fearing economic collapse. Meanwhile, developing countries see opportunity. Nations in Africa, South Asia, and South America could leapfrog fossil fuels entirely, using renewable energy and quantum storage to power their growth without repeating the mistakes of the industrial world. It's a rare moment when technology can truly level the playing field. The quantum battery isn't just an invention, it's a mirror, showing humanity the kind of future it wants. Clean, decentralized, and sustainable, or controlled, corrupted, and exploited.
Which one we choose will define the next century? Conclusion The quantum battery represents more than scientific progress. It represents hope. For the first time, humanity stands on the edge of a world powered not by scarcity, but by abundance. Energy that charges in seconds. Devices that last for decades. Cities are quietly running on renewables. It's a vision once thought impossible, now alive in a modest Canadian lab. But with great power comes great responsibility. Governments, corporations, and individuals must decide whether this technology will serve the planet or profit alone. The oil age lasted over a century. The quantum age may rise in less than one. If you believe the future should be clean, fair, and open to all, share this story. Subscribe for more deep dives into breakthroughs shaping tomorrow. Because the energy revolution isn't coming someday. It's happening right now, and it's faster than ever.